There's this bloke at work, obsessed by grids. He drew them everywhere, even drew them on walls and the floor. He lined everything up with his grids. Tables, chairs, shelves, everything. He divided his desk into neat little units, a place for pens, rules and books. Okay, this guy used to come into the library and head straight for the section on grids. Shelf mark 655.2 to be exact. The shelves were like grids to him. I used to follow him just to see what he was up to. But he didn't know or didn't seem to care. He was oblivious to everything around him. He'd order and reorder the books. First by height, then by width, then color of the spine. He was obsessed by order. He hated it if anyone messed with his shelves. A couple of colleagues messed mess with his desk one day, just for a, a laugh. Everyone was giggling at him. He was in some sort of trance. He slowly picked up his T-square, swung around and belted someone across the knuckle. They like felt the ground lifeless. These days you could say he spends all his time in a grid, imprisoned in a grid, looking out through a grid. They had to lock him up. His quest for order got completely out of hand. Where there is no order, there is chaos. Order is the actual key of life. War has been declared on the aesthetic of chaos. An order that has entered fully into consciousness is called for. Human activity itself has, since the earliest times, been distinguished by the quest for order. I have to use grids to bring some order to the chaos that's whirring around in my head. The grid is the most vivid manifestation of the will to order. Grids can be seen as metaphors for the human need to make sense of the world and position ourselves in control of it. 